The following demonstrations are of wind-driven fires in high-rise buildings, performed at the Oldbury High-Rise Training Facility as a collaboration between Warwickshire and West Midlands Fire Services. For context, the demonstration is occurring on the fourth floor of the facility, which has been laid out to represent a small block of flats. Firefighters are positioned near an external stairwell to observe the effects of steady wind on fire growth and behaviour. A fire is being lit in a far compartment. A second adjoining compartment connects onto the main hallway. There are two additional compartments off the hallway, such as you might find in a high-rise storey with multiple flats. Powerful fans are used to force air into the fire compartment, simulating adverse fire events such as a window failing on a windy day. The fans will drive flames and fire gases through the compartments and into the hallway. In the first demonstration, the top internal door will be closed. The hallway will be ventilated through the bottom external stairwell door above the heads of the observing firefighters. In the second demonstration, the bottom door will be closed and the hallway ventilated through the top. This simulates inadvertently opening the door from an internal staircase where a wind-driven fire vents directly into a firefighter's entry route into the hallway. That's the burn compartment in there. We put the, uh, we put the pallet on the floor as well. We're starting to get some of that low level fire on this issue now where it's uh, the heat from the gas layers affecting the wood, decomposing it, releasing the gas, and then that obviously becomes involved in the fire. So we'll have quite a few event options available at the start. So the ventilation profile will be coming from here, from the front. Uh, and then as we close it down, we'll see the fire development change where its primary, primary source of, it, of oxygen is this door so we're expecting to see a bit of lateral spread the flames coming into the communal area before it's even wind impacting this is normal fire behaviour we're expecting a lot of stuff high level over pressure form to about here the overpressure is the area towards the ceiling where buoyant flammable gases collect as they spread away from the fire beneath this is the under pressure or air tract where oxygen is being drawn in where these two regions meet is the neutral plane. So it's equalised with the vent, yeah, about 50-50. Expecting to see some sparks as well, or some embers in that in that buoyant, you know, that floaty gas high up. So when we start seeing it wind impacting against the door, we start seeing stuff forced out underneath, like on the tick footage, yeah, pressure. Uh, embers, sparks being forced underneath, that's not, not natural behaviour. Then what we'll do is we'll open this door and we'll send the flow over us and out through this door. Yeah, so that'll be the flow path. Then what we'll do is we'll close the door down, close this flat, and we'll send the flow path out through there. So that's just a simulated team coming onto the communal area and that's already compromised. So we're just creating that flow path into the stairs, okay? And you, if you sat there, you'll definitely be able to see rocketing up the top of the door, and, you know. Especially if we've got people trying to evacuate, they're getting a the mouthful of all that old gas and all that, uh, that cloud pack. Alright, so that's the demo. Anybody feels too hot throughout, just let us know. Okay, you can show thermal expansion, careful load resistance, and stop the wind blowing it in as well, but it's quite exactly in this cloud pack. So we're starting to get some lateral spread left in the next room, in the ante room. We're getting the flames coming across the top of the ceiling. Yeah, going to the front of the window now. So now it's turning the front of there is here and here. So it's going to search for the oxygen coming this way. From there, you'll start to see the fire gases with your cheeks up on, yeah? Okay, that right. then, then I'm going to just go. There's your air trap going in. Towards there. And then I'll go left and start to get the gas layer for him. Moving out the compartment that way. So that there, then. So I think it's a lava net. Nice and brilliant. Nice and lemon with a flow. And a high scan there, then. That's it, I've just seen the pallet, yeah, 
A domestic oven on full power can typically reach about 240 degrees Celsius. Hot fire training like this teaches firefighters to recognise abnormal fire behaviour. 